Good evening all. The Moraines and Monteers are thrilled to be here in Philadelphia, where they arrived on different ships and settled more than 300 years ago. I wish to thank the Historical Society of Pennsylvania and a shout out to Southwest Airlines and to CEO Greg Kelly for their sponsorship of this event. When one views my family tree, it conveys a rainbow of colorations, profiles, and body types. What unites them is a strong bond of love. This behavioral trait extends back more than 350 years. The Moraines and Monteers figured out how to build and sustain a multiracial, multi-talented lineage, a role model of sorts for this grand American experiment. This family really is the history of this city, and this area, and of course the history of this country. And the Historical Society is the, is the home of the American Negro Historical Society. We have all their papers here. We have 15 portraits of the American Negro Historical Society collection laid out. It was fabulous. It yeah. was fabulous. It encourages you when you hear things like this because it you're passionate about it. Most people don't understand the passion. So to hear someone who's passionate mm -hmm. is a fabulous presentation. And I thank the Historical Society for presenting. Marriages, baptismals, property records, last wills and testaments, photographs and the like are preserved and passed along generationally. Any family has the ability to trace its history and genealogy. However, enslaved persons were not recognized for their humanity only for their commodity. Few records, save sales slips, were deemed worthy of preservation. As a matter of fact, the genealogy of racehorses was deemed a crucial record. The genealogy of humans, not so. All humankind is connected. And that's why our story tonight will, I think, en enliven you and enrich you that it was a fascinating lecture, so we let the congregation know about it. We tried to get as many of our historical society members to come today, and uh, just think that the work that he's doing is so important because it's such a singular story, and I think it really grabs people, it's interesting, mm -hmm. and it can inspire them to do their own genealogical research.